Hey guys, Janet Majestic Hudson, and this week our Majestic Ritual Crafting Workshop is going to be homemade candles. I haven't done this in so long, but I had a hankering to make some because, well, I never get sick of doing any kind of craft. I had a lot of wax laying around and I suddenly became reacquainted with my obsession with Palo Santo. So I made a very special majestic blend, which is Palo Santo, grapefruit, and a tinge of coffee. Yes. We're gonna show you what's going on with this and here we go. I'm getting ready to make a Palo Santo candle and just need to sit here and do a little shaping. Get some of this nice Palo Santo curled up and ready to roll. We all know how much I love a good cheese grater. Fill up water. Whoops, turn it up to burl. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy wax melter thingy. I'm gonna put it into, well, first I'm gonna fill it with wax, which is kind of important to do, right? In all your glory, ta-da! Okay, soy wax. I'll find some places to link that below. And I'm going to pour that in there do that much right now maybe like what do we got maybe like maybe there's like a cup and a half or something in there so I am going to basically float that in here sometimes you need a little something to weigh it down but right now it's not so bad here we go I'm also going to put my thermometer on here because the thermometer will tell us what temp the wax is getting to and that's super important overall. About 120 to 130 degrees. So let's let that simmer and I'll get the rest in the works. Back to the shaving. I've decided that I'm very fond of these curly cues. Rest assured, this tool, your beautiful cheese grater, I'm sorry, vegetable peeler is the best tool for it. Now, everyone's probably worried like, oh my God, why is she using her incense and using a vegetable peeler? Um, Palo Santo uh, can be ingestible, so don't worry about it. You can, it's all natural, especially when I get. So once you clean off your cheese grater, it'll be just fine. So don't worry about that at all. So I think a perfect combination of the two would be some carrot peeler curly cues and some cheese grater dust. is going to make a beautiful garnish, but also a essence for these candles. Alrighty, so we've reached a temp we need. I am gonna add a little bit of grapefruit essence into this. This will be quite the medley, typical collage by Jen in candle format. So I'm going to add, let's say about 20 drops of grapefruit, because we all know that's everybody's fave at Majestic. Okay, so we've got to prep our vessels for the wax. Um, I already took this one mason jar that I'm repurposing. And what you need in addition to that is some kind of sticky little double-sided disc. You could use any kind of double-sided tape. And you obviously need a wick. So usually what I do, I'll do it on this one. You just are going to be fun. We all know that, right? I'm going to doo -doo -doo, basically Place this on the wick. I'm gonna place it at the bottom of my vessel. I wanna make sure it's a vessel that's heat proof. To be honest, I have no idea if these are, but we will find out soon enough. And then I have all these like little extra sticks that I use to hold it down. But then also, I just piggy tail the wick around the stick so that later on, when I pour the wax in, it stays out of the way. Beautiful. I would call that optimist level. 
Okay, one last thing I'm adding, this is my own Reflectgen Majestic Blend, is some more pulverized Palo Santo. It smells amazing. I used an old coffee grinder that I had, so it looks like there's gonna be some coffee in this. And you know what? I'm totally cool with that. So I'm going to place this also into my wax. And I could take out the thermometer at this point and stir it up. Okay, this is starting to smell like something that's going to make me very, very happy. And now comes the super fun part. We're going to start by pouring it into this glass. And clearly I'm going to bring it up to Optimus line. And I think because I'm using clear glass, what I'm going to do is I am going to let the bottom part be very, very Palo Santo-ish. And then I'm going to melt more clear lax later to put on the top. So pouring into this one. Oh, that one's actually just right all the way. Beautiful. Now let's wait a little while. And what I'm going to do is once it starts to set a little bit, we're gonna garnish the top. And while it's setting, you want to add a little Palo Santo curl garnish on the top. So it looks absolutely perfect. Okay, and now the grand finale. When you're finished doing all those preparations and everything's ready, first of all, you have to keep the wax in your vessel set for a good 24 hours to get the optimal effect of the wax setting. So we've done that. I've got these three that I started with and we're gonna use this little one here as a tester to enjoy this aroma. So first thing I'm going to do is unwind the little piggy tail. And clearly this would be up a little bit higher like these over here. But let's just assume it's up to the top and I'm going to cut the wick. And that's how you make it flush on all of these. And then we are going to test this out. Get ready. I'm gonna polysantify everything. Okay, here we go. New majestic blend of homemade candles infusing the wood of the saints, holy wood, Palo Santo, into a magical cleansing candle. The magical essence of Palo Santo infused into a beautiful, majestic candle. Everybody have fun. Visit MajesticHudson.com. Watch all our videos. Like it below. All the, all the basic uh, supplies and stuff are below. And reach out if you have any questions. Take care, guys. Be well.